This simple seismic detector generates acoustic and visual alarms when it detects a shock, vibration or earthquake. It can also be used to detect passing trucks or other sources of vibration. The sensitivity is adjustable to allow the detector to be used under various conditions. Along with an LED and a buzzer for the visible and audible indications, there is a relay that can be used to energize other circuits or devices. A small 433 transmitter could also be connected to the relay output for wireless transmission of the detector signal to a remote location. More about that later. The key component of this compact circuit is the vibration sensor. The LDTM028K sensor from Measurement Specialties used here consists of a thin piezoelectric plastic film which has two solder pins at one end for fitting it to a PCB and a threaded bush at the other end for attaching a pendulum or a weight. When the sensor is moved back and forth, for example by vibrations, the piezoelectric film generates a voltage that depends on the degree of bending and can be as high as 70 volts or so. The sensor is connected to the input of a type MCP601 op amp. This single supply op amp with rail to rail output can operate with a supply voltage as low as 2.7 volts. The output is connected to a pulse stretcher built around a 74HC132 quad gate with Schmidt trigger inputs. The pulse stretcher outputs drives an LED, a mini buzzer, and a relay. When fitting the board in place, bear in mind that it will be mounted upside down in use and the metal strip needs to be able to move freely. This wireless signalling project consists of a small transmitter and receiver which use a cheap, ready-made transmitter and receive module for the 433 MHz ISM band where type-approved low-power radios may be used license-free. For the 433 MHz modules, the author used type numbers TX433N transmitter and RX433N receiver from Velleman, but in principle any pair of LPR transmitter receiver modules that operate in an ISM band can be used. The transmitter consists of not much more than a 555 oscillator and transmitter module. When the power switch is closed, the entire circuit is powered and the 555 begins to oscillate at a frequency of about 1 Hz. The output of the 555 is connected to the data input of the transmitter module, so that it will be transmitting the carrier in this 1 Hz rhythm. An LED flashes when the transmitter is activated. The design of the receiver circuit is just as simple as the transmitter comprising mainly of the receiver module with a switching transistor and a voltage regulator. When the receiver module detects the carrier wave, the transistor will be switched on and the LED will flash and the buzzer will sound at the 1 Hz rhythm. The circuit was originally designed by the author for use in combination with the seismic detector, but you can use it just as well to check the position of a garage door or so. On the transmitter side, the connections for the power switch on the circuit board can be connected, for example, to the relay output from the earthquake detector. When there is an earthquake, the relay will energize and this activates the transmitter. On the receiver side, the LED will light up and you will hear the intermittent noise from the buzzer. You can find all the details about the seismic detector and the wireless signalling modules on our website www.electormagazine.com